And I made it. How is it going guys? Chuck from Mad Bio Reptiles and today I'm on top of this little shed. I just wanted to get on top of this tree to let you guys know that Cuban night owls love to be on top of the trees and they're barely on the floor. I also wanted to let you guys know that Florida is a bipolar state. Uh, if you can hear this, it's raining, but you guys want to see the sky? Look how blue and beautiful the sky is. My phone is full of water already. Uh, you can see down here the drops falling and it's, it's just like, what's up with you, Florida? What's up with you? What's up with you, man? All right, guys, so let's get down. Okay. Uh, one, two, and three. Uh, ah! Okay. Yeah. Charlie and Delta on Cuban night owls are originally from Cuba, of course, but they were wild caught here in Florida as invasive species. In the wild, they're found at the top of the trees and rarely even come to the ground, or unless they really have to to like lay eggs or travel and things like that. That's why I got my friends from Powerhouse Reptiles to build me a six foot tall enclosure just for them. In captivity, they're 12 to 18 inches long and have been found to be even larger in the wild. The night anole or chipojo as they call them in Cuba can range from a variety of colors they can range from, including some different colorations that such species have. Both males and females are known to have dewlaps, but the male's dewlap tends to be bigger and more pink. Their leg structure is built for climbing many tree surfaces and having hook-like claws and gecko-like toe pads that help them be successful predators on the trees. These animals are diurnal and it's almost impossible to wake their lazy butts up at night. Night owls eat both insects and plant matter, and this is something a lot of keepers don't know. Keepers will tell you that they occasionally eat fruit, but the fact is scientists have done some studies and found out that they eat more fruit than previously thought. Up to 50% of their diet is plant matter, and the link to this study will be in the description. I feed Charlie and Delta both insects and fruits, but have been the most successful with superworms and blueberries. Other insects and fruits, for some reason, they either hesitate to eat them or don't go for them after all. Cuban anoles are known to be vicious little psychopaths who just love to bite. But the reason is that most of them are wild caught and are used to free life full of danger where they either have to kill or be killed and they choose to fight. Now on your possession you should work on taming your anole which is very possible. Find out what works for you and have a plan. I will be making a video on taming them down soon so stay on the lookout.